2,500 feet uh, with this traffic. Travis has connection 218, 3,500, about a mile north, Christmas eastbound, stall the blue. And Ashby back there, John Corker, the Neck Romeo is about three and a half miles northwest of Ashby, 2,600, lazy eight. And putting in my cruise power. Let's continue the turn heading 230 for now. 230. Lake Apopka practice area, red and white Piper, a uh, mile to the west of the west shore of Lake Apopka, heading north and slow flight, 3000, Apopka. And so I have an engine failure, so I'm going to maintain my blue liner better, so I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and go, make sure it's full. So props for city practice area, Skyhawk Force, and Romeo, still maintaining that directional control and still maintaining that blue liner better. So I can go ahead and identify. So I've got my left foot is dead, and I'm going to verify that with the throttle. All right, I didn't get any loss of thrust or anything, so I know that my left engine is indeed dead. So I've got plenty of altitude. I'm at 4,500. So I'm going to go ahead and try and troubleshoot the problem. So I'll pull out my troubleshoot checklist. Alright, so I'm going to put the throttle back to a quarter inch. And check that my fuel pumps are on. They're not on, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And check all my magnetos. They're still on. Fuel selector. There's probably a little bit of residual fuel in the line. So in a real scenario, by turning that pump on, if the engine actually did come back to live, what would that mean? So that means that there's Okay, so my um, engine-driven fuel pump is out. Yeah, that, that engine-driven pump, which is normally the one in operation, is the one that failed. Right. Now, what we're experiencing right now is just what you said. Yeah, there's some fuel left in the some line. Some residual fuel in the line is just now being pumped by that uh, electrical pump into the uh, carburetor to be used. And it's and probably going to run out. Yeah, and it's going to run out eventually. I think so. it just did. Uh, All right, so now we're back to... <laughs> To the engine being dead. Uh, All right, so the mags are still all on. Fuel here, selectors here, are here, both here, on. I noticed one's not as astute, east, but simulating it's on. Okay. So we would identify that for the examiner, though. Right. So we would say, hey, I know this is in the off position. If I turned it on, theoretically, that should restore fuel flow. Right. Uh, however, we would only simulate on just to continue with the scenario. Correct. Okay. And so, car repeat. So we're going to turn it, turn car P on for that engine. And so we're going gonna... to leave it on for a moment. What possible issues would car P fix? So it could fix the, uh, if there's carb icing. Okay. It could fix it. So if you go throttle full right now, you could possibly get some of the uh, power back if it was carb icing. Good. I didn't get any thro uh, power back, so I know it's not carb icing. So Good. I'm going to go ahead and go back. So now it's important range. to remember that there's also a second issue that potentially could be fixed with carburetor heat. Okay. Carburetor heat is the alternate air source for this engine. Right. So we don't have an automatic door like on a Cessna that would open. Okay. Um, carburetor heat is that second air source that bypasses the filter. And so if the filter became blocked for any reason, clearly carb heat would be a potential fix for that. True. All right, cool. So it's not icing or a blockage. So I'll move on to fuel quantity and pressure. Is I'm showing I've got fuel and I'm showing pressure, so that's not the problem. And oil pressure and pressure as well. Okay. All right, so engine does not start, so I'm going to go ahead and take my in-op engine, which is the left, and I'm going to feather it. While maintaining directional control. And I'm going to go ahead and cut off the fuel for that engine as well. Good. Let's do a right turn heading 310. On the heading 310, we'll continue with the uh, engine security. All right. So 310. Throw pit flow traffic, uh, white tower, connection 220, over the field, so it's east of low antennas, uh, departing base to Sanford, let's go. Pit flow. 